Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. Mom, what are you doing home? I got off work early so that I could see see how you did your tryouts for the choir. You wasted your time by cup by staying home from work. What do you mean, honey? I didn't get in, okay? Oh, honey, just leave me alone. <sighs> Time for me to be a mom right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this video is so funny. It is, isn't it? Hey! Hey, Asia, how did you do with your audition? It doesn't matter. I didn't want to be in that stupid choir anyway. Um, McKenna? Yeah? Can you give me, give me and Asia some time alone? I'm out of here. Asia? Asia, can we talk for a minute? Leave me alone. Mom? Hmm? Can I have a minute alone with Asia? You know, one sister to another? Sure, sweetie. I'll be in the living room if any of you need me. Thanks. I'm sorry you didn't get into the choir. I know how you feel. <laughs> no, you don't. Because every time you tried out for the choir, you got in. But it doesn't mean I haven't had my share of rejection. <laughs> what could you have been rejected from? Well... Would I have an audition for solos or audition for an even more advanced choir? I never got in. Yeah, but at least you have this choir to hold you back. It isn't fair. I'm tired of this rejection I have to go through. It's just not fair. And don't you dare tell me life isn't fair. I wasn't going to. But what I am going to say is that you, you have a lot of talent. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If I had any talent, I would be in the choir eventually. And you will. You're only eight. You know, and you do have a lot of talent. You said that already. I'm saying it because it's true. And if those people can't see what I see then they're the ones who are failures, not you. Somehow that doesn't make me feel any better because we could say all the mean things we want about them, but they're always gonna be there. It's not gonna make them lose their job. It's not gonna make them look at me any differently. I'm just sick of it. I mean, you may have been rejected a couple of times, but not the way I was. You at least got into the choir. And even though you didn't get to sing in the really advanced choir, at least you had something to fall back on. I feel like I'm a piece of nothing. Don't ever, ever think that. You're worth it. You really are. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're just saying that because you're my sister. I'm saying it because it's true. Don't sell yourself short. And if those people can't see how talented you are, then they're not worth it. Like I said, that's not going to get me into the choir. I know it won't. But just keep trying. I've been keep trying for the last three years, and I can never get in. I'm eight years old. I've been trying since I was five. And since you were eight. But when you were eight, you got in. I know. But I've had my share of rejection, too. Somehow it's not the same. Because you at least got into something that you auditioned for. No matter what I auditioned for, no matter what I auditioned for, I never get in. Whether it's a solo, whether it's the choir, whether it's a school musicals that the school puts on every year. 
It's like I have no talent. Maybe I should give up performing. No, don't. Well, what's the point of of being a performer if nobody wants to heal me? I want to heal you. Mom wants to heal you. But you're my family. I want strangers to heal me and say I'm good. No offense. None taken. I know what you mean. But we love you. And you just got to keep trying. I mean, is quitting going to get you into the choir any more than you would be if you kept trying? Just keep trying. You'll get in eventually. I'm such a reject. You are not a reject. You're my sister, and I love you, and I hate seeing you like this. Yeah, well, it's no picnic for me either. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go and talk to mom. See if she'll take us out for ice cream. I'm really not that hungry. Believe me, you'll thank me for this. Okay? I guess I can go for a double dip. <laughs> oh wait, Whitney? What? I wanna talk to mom first, in private. Okay. I'll be on the computer then. I feel so bad for Asia. She seemed really upset. Yes, yeah, she is upset, but she'll get over it. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Uh, McKenna, I'd like to talk to my mom alone. Do you think you could? Yeah, no problem. I'll go see what Whitney's doing. Thanks, McKenna. No problem. So what's up, honey? Are you okay now? I will be. I just wanted to apologize. For what, honey? For being so disrespectful to you when you tried to talk to me. I'm sorry. I know you are, honey. You were just upset. So how did your talk with your sister go? It went okay, even though it was kind of rough at first. But she really knows how to comfort people, even though she's not in the same boat as I am. Not really. I know, honey. But you gotta realize that just because your sister gets into things doesn't mean that she's necessarily better than you. Or that I'm more proud of her than I am at you. Why are you proud of me? I haven't made any big accomplishments. I'm not proud of you based on your accomplishments or even based on Whitney's accomplishments. I love both of you because I created you and I raised two very beautiful girls. And you'll never be a reject in my eyes. You really think so? I know so. How about I take you, Whitney, and even McKenna out for ice cream? If you don't mind McKenna going. That's funny, Whitney was gonna ask you about going to ice cream. Well, I guess I beat her to it. Do you wanna go? I guess I could use a double dip, maybe a triple dip, drown out my saws. <laughs> now you're sounding like the Asia I know. Go get your sister and her friend and we'll leave in like 10 minutes. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, honey.